The Next Generation Network NGN is a body of key architectural changes in telecommunication core and access networks. The general idea behind the NGN is that one network transports all information and services voice, data, and all sorts of media such as video by encapsulating these into IP packets, similar to those used on the Internet. NGNs are commonly built around the Internet protocol, and therefore the term all IP is also sometimes used to describe the transformation of formerly telephone-centric networks toward NGN. NGN is a different concept from future Internet, which is more focused on the evolution of Internet in terms of the variety and interactions of services offered. Topic. Introduction of NGN According to ITUT, the definition is A Next Generation Network NGN, is a packet-based network which can provide services including telecommunication services and is able to make use of multiple broadband, quality-of-service enabled transport technologies and in which service-related functions are independent from underlying transport-related technologies. It offers unrestricted access by users to different service providers. It supports generalized mobility which will allow consistent and ubiquitous provision of services to users. From a practical perspective, NGN involves three main architectural changes that need to be looked at separately. In the core network, NGN implies a consolidation of several dedicated or overlay transport networks each historically built for a different service into one core transport network often based on IP and Ethernet. It implies amongst others the migration of voice from a circuit-switched architecture PSTN to VoIP, and also migration of legacy services such as BI.25, Frame Relay either commercial migration of the customer to a new service like IPVPN, or technical emigration by emulation of the legacy service on the NGN. In the wired access network, NGN implies the migration from the dual system of legacy voice next to XDSL setup in local exchanges to a converged setup in which the DSLAMs integrate voice ports or VoIP, making it possible to remove the voice switching infrastructure from the exchange. In the cable access network, NGN convergence implies migration of constant bit rate voice to cable abs packetsable standards that provide VoIP and SIP services. Both services ride over DOCSIS as the cable data layer standard. In an NGN, there is a more defined separation between the transport connectivity portion of the network and the services that run on top of that transport. This means that whenever a provider wants to enable a new service, they can do so by defining it directly at the service layer without considering the transport layer, i.e. services are independent of transport details. Increasingly applications, including voice, tend to be independent of the access network delayering of network and applications and will reside more on end-user devices phone, PC, set-top box. Topic. Underlying technology components Next generation networks are based on Internet technologies including Internet Protocol IP, and Multiprotocol Label Switching MPLS. At the application level, Session Initiation Protocol SIP, seems to be taking over from ITU-TH.323. Initially H.323 was the most popular protocol, though its popularity decreased in the local loop due to its original poor traversal of network address translation NAT, and firewalls. For this reason as domestic VoIP services have been developed, SIP has been more widely adopted. However, in voice networks where everything is under the control of the network operator or telco, many of the largest carriers use H.323 as the protocol of choice in their core backbones. With the most recent changes introduced for H.323, it is now possible for H.323 devices to easily and consistently traverse NAT and firewall devices, opening up the possibility that H.323 may again be looked upon more favorably in cases where such devices encumbered its use previously. Nonetheless, most of the telcos are extensively researching and supporting IP Multimedia Subsystem IMS, which gives SIP a major chance of being the most widely adopted protocol. For voice applications one of the most important devices in NGN is a soft switch, a programmable device that controls voice over IP VoIP, calls. 
It enables correct integration of different protocols within NGN. The most important function of the soft switch is creating the interface to the existing telephone network, PSTN, through signaling gateways and media gateways. However, the soft switch as a term may be defined differently by the different equipment manufacturers and have somewhat different functions. One may quite often find the term gatekeeper in NGN literature. This was originally a VoIP device, which converted using gateways voice and data from their analog or digital switched circuit form PSTN, SS7, to the packet-based one IP. It controlled one or more gateways. As soon as this kind of device started using the Media Gateway Control Protocol, the name was changed to Media Gateway Controller MGC. A call agent is a general name for devices, systems controlling calls. The IP Multimedia Subsystem IMS, is a standardized NGN architecture for an Internet Media Services capability defined by the European Telecommunications Standards Institute ETSI, and the Third Generation Partnership Project 3GPP. Topic. Implementations In the UK another popular acronym was introduced by BT British Telecom as 21CN 21st Century Networks, sometimes mistakenly quoted as C21N. This is another loose term for NGN and denotes BT's initiative to deploy and operate NGN switches and networks in the period 2006-2008, the aim being by 2008 BT to have only all IP switches in their network. The concept was abandoned, however, in favour of maintaining current generation equipment. The first company in the UK to roll out a NGN was thus PLC which started deployment back in 1999. Thus, NGN contains 10,600 km of fibre optic cable with more than 190 points of presence throughout the UK. The core optical network uses dense wavelength division multiplexing DWDM technology to provide scalability to many hundreds of gigabits per second of bandwidth, in line with growth demand. On top of this, the thus backbone network uses MPLS technology to deliver the highest possible performance. IP, MPLS-based services carry voice, video and data traffic across a converged infrastructure, potentially allowing organizations to enjoy lower infrastructure costs, as well as added flexibility and functionality. Traffic can be prioritized with classes of service, coupled with service level agreements SLAs, that underpin quality of service performance guarantees. The thus NGN accommodates seven classes of service, four of which are currently offered on MPLS IP VPN. In the Netherlands, KPN is developing an NGN in a network transformation program called All IP. Next Generation Networks also extends into the messaging domain and in Ireland, OpenMind Networks has designed, built and deployed traffic control to handle the demands and requirements of all IP networks. In Bulgaria, BTC Bulgarian Telecommunications Company has implemented the NGN as underlying network of its telco services on a large-scale project in 2004. The inherent flexibility and scalability of the new core network approach resulted in an unprecedented rise of classical services deployment as POTS, ISDN, Centrix, ADSL, VPN, as well as implementation of higher bandwidths for the metro and long-distance Ethernet, VPN services, cross-national transits and WEBTV, IPTV application. In February 2014 Deutsche Telekom revealed that its subsidiary Makedonski Telekom had become the first European incumbent to convert its PSTN infrastructure to an all-IP network. It took just over two years for all 290,000 fixed lines to be migrated onto the new platform. The capital investment worth €14 million Euros makes Macedonia the first country in the Southeast Europe whose network will be fully based on Internet Protocol. In Canada, startup Wind Mobile owned by Globalive is deploying an all-IP wireless backbone for its mobile phone service. In mid-2005, China Telecom announced its commercial role out of China Telecom's Next Generation Carrying Network, or CN2, using Internet Protocol Next Generation Network architecture. 
Its IPv6 capable backbone network leverages soft switches, the control layer, and protocols like DiffServe and MPLS, which boosts performance of its bearer layer. The MPLS optimized architecture also enables frame relay and ATM traffic to be transported over a layer 2 VPN, which supports both legacy traffic and new IP services over a single IP MPLS network. Topic. See also BESIC Computer Network Fixed Mobile Convergence Alliance FMCA Flat IP Mobile VoIP IP Multimedia Subsystem IMS Nanoscale Network Network Convergence Next Generation Network Services Telecommunications Equipment